Hey guys, I figured today I would do a declutter since we're all quarantined anyway and I haven't decluttered my wardrobe since before my no buy and it's been three months and so I think it's a good time for me to go through all my clothes and really be vicious about what I have and haven't been wearing. And so first I'm going to start with sweaters because hopefully I'm not wearing as many now that it's spring. So I'm going to go through category by category, pull out my favorites first, and then put those back. And then based on what I have left, I'm going to decide if they are keeps or if I should throw them away or if I need to try them on. So if that sounds good to you, just keep on watching. Okay, so just went through my sweaters, and my top five are this dark gray cashmere chunky sweater that I thrifted from the brand Metropol Metropolitan View. Super big and oversized, but so warm and perfect to wear to work or on the weekends. Then we have my well-loved uh, cream cable knit sweater that I got from my grandpa and I almost got rid of this a, a couple of like last year or two years ago and I'm so glad I didn't. I love this one, I wear it all the time. Then I have another solid, my Macy's Charter Club cashmere sweater in this nice like, I don't know, biscuity, caramel sort of color. Then I have my like cottony or rib sweater from Croft of Barrow in black. And then one of my favorites, this doesn't have a brand on it, does it? No brand, but it's this really cute puff sleeve, like uh, fun Betty sweater with the little ruffled collar. So love this guy, super girly. So those are the ones I'm keeping for sure. Now I'm going to look at the rest and see if there's any duplication or some that I don't need. This is the pile that I am keeping. I hope I'm playing in the right spot. And this is the stuff I'm getting rid of right now. So, and this is also part of the key pile, those five that I already picked. So, this is keep. Over here, past this pile, this, this stuff here, and then over here, the stuff I'm getting rid of right now. And then this pile I keep moving is if I'm going to try on and see what the fit is like because I just haven't been wearing sweaters lately. So I'm going to do that and I will come back to you. Okay, so I just tried everything on and I'm keeping 27 sweaters and I'm getting rid of 9 sweaters. So that's a quarter of my sweaters, which I think is pretty good. Uh, especially since I absolutely love sweaters and that's probably the number one thing that I wear in the winter because it's just too cold to wear anything else. So now I'm going to move on to another category. So I was setting up for my next category and I remembered that I also have this cardigan which wasn't with the rest of my sweaters. So I actually finished with 28 sweaters and not 27. So here is the 28 sweater. Okay, so now on to short sleeve tops. Quite a few here, and this isn't even everything. I mean, this is all like the stuff that I would wear to work, all like these t-shirts, and then anything that's like kind of a workout t-shirt I have separate, and I just kind of wear those on the weekends. I wouldn't really wear them to work. So I'm just gonna talk about my regular 
hanging t-shirts. So first I'm going to pull out my five favorites. Top five favorites are these guys. I have this H&M t-shirt that's super flowy and full and it's this nice big stripe and it's just like super easy to tuck in and flowy and I've had this forever and it's barely together. There's little holes forming and I'm dreading the day that I have to get rid of this because it's so perfect. The sleeves are nice and flowy. It's just the perfect t-shirt and so this was absolutely my first pick. Next is a little eyelet button down and I actually bought this in Paris. Um, Luke and I went there for our honeymoon and so this is second hand. I'm going to button it so you guys can see the full effect here. So there she is. No label, no nothing. Very cute little eyelet cotton top with a little collar and a little lapels just like so cute and I wore this to Dallas when it was boiling and so I was really cool but also felt really cute and put together. Next are three t-shirts. These two, uh, a black and a white just plain t-shirt. They're really soft. They're actually from the kids section at Walmart. You probably have seen me. This is an extra large from the brand Wonder Nation. Uh, and I just really love these. They're a nice thick material and they feel like substantial, not see-through at all. And the last one is this cute little crop t-shirt from Brandy Melville. Uh, it's just like nice and boxy. It's kind of got like a little bit of a drop shoulder and then it's this really pretty coral and white little very skinny stripe. So I just love the color of this and I think it's a really nice like summery top. And now I'm going to go through the rest. Okay, so I just went through all my t-shirts and short sleeve tops and I'm going to be honest, I'm going to keep all of them. I didn't really wear any of them for the kind of winter time just because it's too cold to wear short sleeves. Uh, occasionally I would wear the black or white t-shirt in the winter underneath the like blazer. So I think in the future I'm going to just put away all of my t-shirts and save them for spring so I can like kind of fall in love with them again. Um, the only things that I'm kind of on the fence about are when I was on the hunt for the perfect t-shirt, I bought a bunch of these Madewell ones from Nordstrom Rack. And they're okay. They're not like the best quality. Like this neck is really stretched out on the white one. The black one's okay, but I think it's just because I haven't worn it as much. And then I bought this gray one and I'm looking at it now and it's just... Like the whole thing is twisted and cut off grain and then the neck is really just like bad and I just don't know why I bought this to be honest. Like it's a really, I mean I know why I bought it. It's really soft and it has this really nice like gray marl texture um, but quality wise I definitely should have left this one at the rack. So I don't know if I'm going to hang on to it. I, I feel, I just feel guilty about it to be honest. But I I don't know if like those things are going to stop me from wearing it. I'm like thinking about it and I feel like I'm trying to convince myself to keep it so maybe I should just get rid of it. I might reenact the maybe bin and just keep this out of my closet for now. And if I think about it and I take it out and I wear it, great. If not, I'll get rid of it. I think I'm going to do the same for the white and the black of the Madewell tee just to see if I do reach for it, because my fear is that I do wear a lot of black and white solid t-shirts, but will I need, to, I mean I have so many cute clothes that I, I don't need to be wearing the same, like a black and white t-shirt every single day. So maybe this will kind of force me to use those black and white t-shirts that I have and then give them a breather, wash them, whatever, and then wear them again. As opposed to having two of each, essentially, and then wearing a black and white t-shirt, and then a black and white t-shirt, and doing, and just like wearing the same, a similar outfit. This will kind of like make, force me to expand my horizons when it comes to my outfits. 
So I'm also gonna put these in my maybe bin. All right, so I'm gonna put this back in my closet and I'm gonna pull out my long sleeve tops. Okay, so these are all of my long sleeve tops. I'm gonna pull out my top five. Okay, so my top five tops are this one that I actually got from Forever 21. And if this is not my only piece remaining of Forever 21 clothing, I'd be shocked. I'm pretty sure this is it. And I've had this for a really long time. And I wore this when I got engaged, which is, I'll never forget. Not like that's the reason I'm keeping it, but uh, it definitely holds a little bit of sentimental value. But it's a really great just top. It has this really cute ruffle at the top with the tie, these kind of voluminous sleeves, a little puff at the top, and it's just like this nice like rusty color with a little light blue in it. It's just like a really great top, and I... I, it, it works for so many different occasions. Next is this blouse uh, that I got last year from Vince Camuto. It's this really pretty sage color with these big sleeves and this ruffle and these ties. There's a lot going on in the sleeves, but the rest of it's really basic and this color is just really super nice. Next are two solid button downs. This one is from One State and it's got this like textured material. Two breast pockets and it's just like super comfortable. What I really love about it and why I wanted to get another one was because the fabric is textured like this. It definitely doesn't wrinkle as easily and when it does it almost feels like it's just part of the texture of the, the top. So this is a great one. And then the other uh, solid button down is the one that I thrifted last year from Susan Graver. Just love how long it is. It just goes with everything. I'm just realizing now, I think there are stains on the back. Oh my god. That's hilarious. I know when I bought this, I was like, oh no, there's no stains on this. They're all on the back. Oh my god. You can really barely see them, only in like this light. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Should I get rid of it? I, I don't even think you can probably tell when I'm wearing it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so funny. Maybe I'll wash this and see if I can get them out. Oh my god. Wow. I've had this top and worn it like so many times since I bought it and I just found the stain. That's hilarious. All right. This is definitely still one of my favorites. I'll probably still wear it even though there's a stain on the back, but I'm going to wash it for a 20th time to see if I can get the stain out. <laughs> uh, and the last stop is this one from Jones, New York. And I just love this, this print, this style. It's like this drop shoulder button down and then it's got this like little square notch at the front and I just really love this print and these colors. It's like a navy base with browns and purples and cream and it's just like a really really cute top and I loved this one so much that it actually ripped under the arm and I mended it together so I could keep wearing it. So now I'm going to go through the rest of my tops. I just went through and these are the five that I'm on the fence about. I'm going to be honest, I just took a lot of these out of my storage for spring because I don't wear a lot of glasses in the winter. Like I said, I wear a lot of sweaters. I don't have many that I want to get rid of, but these were some things that have been in my wardrobe except for this. This I just added, but I just want to try it on and remember how much I like it. I think... I think it's fine, but so these were ones that have been in my wardrobe all winter. I just haven't really worn them that much. So I'll just show them to you guys. And maybe it was because it was cold that I didn't wear them. I'm gonna keep all five of these in my wardrobe. I'm keeping all my long sleeve tops right now. So didn't do great on long sleeve tops, but I love long sleeve tops. They're one of my favorite categories, and I wear them basically every season except for winter. I wear them, still wear them a little bit. I wear that long sleeve white one quite a bit in winter. So now we're going to do 
skirts. <laughs> Top five favorite skirts. This is easy because it's kind of a smaller category. My Rebecca Taylor neon pink eyelet skirt that I got when I um, interned there. So cute. I had an elastic band put into the waistband so it fits me perfectly now. I'm totally obsessed with this. My blue floral high-low kind of asymmetrical skirt from Francesca's with a really tight elastic at the waist too. This one also fits me really nice and I love the color. Uh, this is a Liz Claiborne collection midi skirt with slits in the front and the back, double slits, and it's actually a set, so I got this with the top, and it has little belt loops. I love this skirt. It's so nice, and I love that it's got the dot with the floral. You guys probably have seen this a billion times. This is my who, what, where kind of leopard a sim midi skirt with the kind of camel color with the black. I love this thing. Uh, it's just so silky and flowy and it just looks good with so many different things. Last but not least, my Ralph Lauren, Lauren Ralph Lauren uh, mini skirt navy with the pin tucks. I thrifted this last year and I really really loved it. It was originally $12 and then I got the waistband, uh, put elastic in there so it would fit me nice and I love it. I'm so obsessed with it. The elastic makes it perfect because I can wear it with a t-shirt <laughs> or with a sweater and it just adjusts to whatever I'm wearing so love those. So I just Try these two on and I'm actually going to get rid of both and then I'm keeping the rest of my skirts. So I'm keeping 11 skirts and I'm getting rid of two. And the reason I'm getting rid of this is because the silhouette just isn't that cute on me. The bottom is very slim. It's very like pencil skirty and the bottom is so voluminous so I kind of just get like a pouch here which is not cute. And this skirt, I've had it for like two years. I've never worn it. It's from Prologue, the brand Target, and it's just like a nice faux leather skirt, but the thing that's annoying about it is the fact that if you tuck anything into it, you, the, the faux leather is so thin that you can see right through it. Like you can see the bump of like even the, the thinnest t-shirt, so it's just like really annoying because I bought this, I think I bought it like, like a year ago. I think I had it in my first five things I bought or five finds or whatever. I think this was one of the items and then it's been a full year. I have never worn it. So I'm getting rid of it. Okay, now I'm gonna go through all of my pants. I, I don't have the strength to go through my shorts right now. I'm pretty sure I have like three pairs of shorts. I hate shorts. So there's probably not that many. <laughs> And my jeans are a whole nother story also. So that's, that's, we're just going through pants. So get ready. Okay, so I picked my five and they're here. So I'm gonna go through them. So it's these pair of, I'll just take them off my hair. High-waisted Uniqlo trousers and they have this wide leg at the bottom and they're navy with the green and the yellow and they have the belt loop so I can cover up the elastic at the waist but the elastic is amazing because it fits me so good. So then I have these guys. These were from Liz Claiborne Classic Petite and it's my little mini checked high rise pleated pants that I got in Portland. I really love these. They have a little cuff at the bottom that I need to re-cuff or either cut the tack off or something because half up, half down is not cute. These are great neutral colors, so they go with a lot of outfits. Then we have a, another pair of high-waisted thrifted pants. I thrifted these in Paris with Luca on our honeymoon. No label, nothing. They're just a nice, super elastic waist kind of loose at the hip and thigh and then tapered at the bottom. I love this print. These are so great. They're pretty lightweight. So they're hard to wear in the winter, but every other season, I'm wearing these. 
and I usually pair them with something bright yellow. Next is a pair that I got last year, but I really love them. It's this pair of high-waisted paper bag pants from H&M, and I got them a couple sizes too big, and then and I was like, oh, I love this baggy fit, and then I shrunk them like a little bit, and now they fit perfectly, which is so nice. They have the cute little tie, the the kind of pleats, and then these really nice pockets with the button, and the color is just too much. It's like this really yellowy olive, and I just like. I love it. I'm, re I'm really into it. And of course, last but not least, are my tried and true leather pants. I love these guys. They're so warm. They're this beautifully soft leather. There are some dings and some cuts, but you can't even tell when they're on. And the only thing that's weird is the line only goes down to like my, uh, about, right above my knees. So I always have little like leather pieces on my leg, but I'm hoping the more I wear them, the more that will go away because it kind of freaks me out because these aren't thrifted but I really love these. I love the way they look. I love the way I style them and they're just like a really great addition to my wardrobe. I'm going to try on these three pairs and then I'll come right back. So after trying all that stuff I'm getting rid of four pairs of pants. So the first are these Banana Republic ones in a check and these are the Ryan fit so I bought these when I got my job my job that I'm currently in and I've been there for over two years and I think I've worn these like three times and I just tried them on because and the reason I don't really wear them is because they're like a low to mid rise and so I don't really wear that sort of pant especially in trousers and jeans I can kind of get away with it, but in trousers, it's just, it's just so uncomfortable. And then I just tried them on right now, and they're so itchy. Why are they so itchy? But in Republic, why are they so itchy? So these are out. Sad. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of these, and it's not because I don't love them. I bought them probably a size too small when I bought them and then I just kind of dealt with it and I, I gained a little bit of weight since then and so now they're really tight and so basically I'm just going to keep these in mind and put them on my wish list and try and get something that actually fits me so that I am comfortable because I really like the style it's that cropped wide leg these are from The Gap uh, and I really really love the style of pant I should just have gotten like a two or a four instead I bought a zero because why? Why? Because I wanted to be a zero because I fit my ass in a zero. So I wanted to be a zero. So bad. So I'm going to try and maybe put something on a Christmas list or something to try and get these in an actual size that fits me that looks actually flattering on me. I really would love to try the Everlane ones. Erica from Tiny Unicorn loves them and they look so good on her and so that are those are the ones that I have my eye on. But these are not right, they do not fit, they're not comfortable, so I'm getting rid of them. Next is this pair of faux leather pants from American Eagle. And the funny story about these is I have been hanging on to them for a really long time because I bought them, I loved them, wore them all the time, lost a lot of weight, got them tailored finally to fit me because they were so big. Uh, I couldn't wear them. Now they fit me, and the leather is starting to like crack and rip because it's faux leather, obviously. And I just wear my regular leather ones so much more, so I'm getting rid of these. It's sad because I spent fifteen dollars to get them tailored. I wore them once. Now I'm getting rid of them, but that's just a lesson that I needed to learn. That if I'm gonna get something tailored, it has to be something that I really love and I'm drawn to and that is good quality. Only get good quality pieces uh, tailored because otherwise the, something else will give. They'll fit you perfect and then the fabric will be ripping or damaged or whatever so it's just a lesson I need to learn. Last is actually another Banana Republic piece. Wow, two Banana Republic stuff. I guess I don't like their, their quality. So this is a pair of gingham 
leggings and this is these are so cute they're just really really tight and like they were really really tight when I bought them but I just I, I wore them with an outfit and it just looked like really tight I just like don't like leg I don't like the way that like legging type pants look on me I guess I don't know I don't know I I maybe this is one I'll put in the maybe bin because I only wore them that one time and I didn't even like how I looked at them and I was like I'm gonna get rid of these in my next declutter I'm drawn to this fabric I really like this print it's a high quality piece 100% but maybe it's just not for me okay so I'm getting rid of four and I'm keeping oh, 10 pairs of pants. I can, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, the next category is dresses. And boy, do I have a lot of dresses. Ugh, God. I've taken them out and now I feel like I should have waited to do this tomorrow because I'm getting pretty tired. In fact, I'm gonna get a drink of water. Be right back. Okay, that's better. So, this is every single, this is every single dress I own as well as all my jumpsuits and overalls and casual dresses and formal dresses. So any dress that I've ever worn is here. yanking, I have pulled out my five favorite dresses uh, and jumpsuits. So my first one's actually a jumpsuit, and it's this guy from the brand CC. I wore this on Valentine's Day this year, and I also have worn it to a wedding. It's just such a flattering jumpsuit. It looks so good on me, and I just think it's, it's dressy, but still, like, Playful and elegant. I just love this thing. It's so nice. It's cropped. It's got like a straight leg, not too wide. Uh, it's it's so good. Best. I spent about hundred dollars on this, and I was like, oh, like I'm not sure. Like it's kind of a high price to pay for something that's for like formal events. Totally worth it. Fits me so good. Obsessed with this. My other one is actually also. A formal dress. Ah, love this one. So I've worn this to a wedding and I also wore it for my birthday a couple years ago and I love this thing. It's like a, like a, it almost feels like a neoprene mesh. So on one side it's neoprene and then on the top it's like a mesh and this is a Calvin Klein dress that I got at a sample sale and holy cannoli, I love this thing. So it's this really full flowy skirt and then it's a more fitted skirt underneath so when you spin you're not worrying about flashing anybody and it's just a really flattering shape and it just makes me feel like, like a little princess and just like, I don't know, I'm just really, I love this dress and I will never ever get rid of it and I will wear it to every wedding and it's just, it's just so perfect. Next up are my two workhorse dresses. So this you guys have also seen a million times. <laughs> and it's my K by Kirsch Target dress. And it's this midi length, it almost looks like a pajama top. It's black and white spots. I, I love this thing. She, she works in every single season and it's just perfection. Another Target dress that's also a workhorse is this maxi dress from Who What Wear. It's this really thick cotton, and I actually have this in black as well, but I can't find it anywhere. I think it might be at my parents' house. I haven't seen it since the move, so I'm a little concerned, but it definitely made it. We didn't leave anything in the apartment, so it's definitely around. I just need to find it, but it's this big long maxi with this like fitted piece underneath, and then 
this overlay that's like nice and flowy and it's just got this beautiful effect. It's just soft, really soft and it feels comfortable but it still looks pro professional. And last but not least is a dress that Luke got me for my birthday last year, I think. Um, it's this Madewell dress. Uh, it's just so pretty and flattering and I love this color with polka dots. Clearly I have a thing for polka dots. But yeah, I think this color dress looks really good with my hair and my skin tone. So this was one I wore a lot in the summer. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through the rest of my dresses and try and do a little bit of narrowing. Oh, just found a t-shirt. I'm keeping this, but I found an extra one. So one more than I said I was going to keep. Oops. So I tried on a bunch of dresses, and so I am going to put three in a maybe pile, and then one, two, three, four, five, six dresses I'm getting rid of. And then I'm going to keep all these, and I don't feel like counting them this second, but I will definitely put the number on the screen of how many dresses I ended up keeping. And I think that's all I can do today. I still have to go through my blazers and jackets. So I will see you guys tomorrow to go through those. So it's two days later, uh, whew, I couldn't get to this yesterday because I was working from home, so I'm just busy and we had a lot of stuff going on, so I'm doing this today and as promised, I'm going through my jackets and my blazers. I'm a little out of breath because this is what I just carried in here because it's stored in another room. Wow, I'm really out of breath. That's really sad. Anyway, I'm going to pull out my top five jackets or blazers. After much struggle, I picked out my top five, and I'm going to go through them with you guys. So the first one is on this horrible hanger, and it's this kind of military style jacket, and I got this at a sample sale. No tags or anything, it just says... 32 on it and it had a hole in the lining and I had it repaired and I wear it so much. It's such a nice thick weight and it's so oversized and comfortable and it's this perfect olive green color. I love this jacket. I wear it all the time in spring. It's just so nice. It has all these like really cool utility pockets and I'm just obsessed with it. I'll never get rid of this jacket. Next is this blazer that I thrifted at my unique thrift, and it is from Nygaard Collection, and it's a size 14, but it fits me just a little bit oversized, and I took the shoulder pads out, and I just love this. It's nice and long line, so it makes me feel like really long and tall, so this is definitely one of my favorites. And it's this nice lightweight, so I wear it layered and overstuffed in the winter, and then I just wear it with like t-shirts in the spring and summer. Next is another piece you guys have probably seen a million times, and it's my Wilson's Leather uh, motorcycle jacket with the silver hardware. And I got this from Wilson's Leather a couple of years ago, maybe two years ago, and the prices are just so good. Uh, for the quality like this is such a soft beautiful leather jacket. It really doesn't look that worn at all and I wear this a ton a little bit around the cuff edges and this was only $150 which I think is a really great price for a leather jacket. You can get leather jackets for any amount of money that you want but I think to get a really quality one like this this is a really good price and the closures feel really like heavy and expensive and I just love the look of this. I think this is what a classic uh, motorcycle jacket should look like. So that's why I love this guy so much. Next is another one of my 
favorites, and this is on the other end of the spectrum. I think this was $40. It's a faux leather jacket from Zara, but I just couldn't resist these, like, stars and studs. It's just a total statement jacket, and it's this really fun cropped length, so it's really nice when I want to wear something cropped. I don't have that many cropped things, so this is perfect. And then it just has the attached belt buckle, and it just, it's just a killer badass piece. Final one is this extremely long uh, trench coat from Fleet Street. Uh, this is a size 6. I thrifted this at Miami Thrift, and it's just this beautiful hunter green color. And it's a nice, beautiful trench style, and then the, the belt is right in the pocket, so... Love this guy. He makes me feel like so stylish. Kept the shoulder pads in this one. I don't think they're too intense, but it's really funny when I wear something with shoulder pads underneath this and then it looks like I really have crazy shoulders. So I wear this with everything. Maxi dresses, jeans, leather pants, just like somehow it goes with everything and it's really nice too because it has a removable lining. So in the winter I can wear it with this thick kind of chunky lining and then in the spring and summer I just take it out and it's just like this exterior material and that's it. So this is definitely one that I will hang on to for a really long time. So now I'm going to go through the rest of this pile. <laughs> narrow that much. So that's kind of depressing. I just, this is my favorite category of clothes. So I love everything. That's the problem. But I did pull out a couple things. This jacket that I thrifted from J. Crew. It's just like a little too small. I love this one. I think it's such a nice print, but it's just, it just doesn't fit me right. And this blazer that I got at a sample sale, super cute, double breasted, gray, and he's also just like doesn't fit right in like the arms, so that one is going. Then I have this one that's actually already on my Poshmark, but I was like, oh this is cute, I'll just throw it in my closet and I'll wear it. Haven't even worn it. It's cute, and it's comfortable, but I'm just never drawn to the corduroy blazer. And then this is the one that I'm on the fence about. It's a, like a knit moto, and it's this really nice neutral gray color. It's from Kohl's, but just like, doesn't have like the perfect fit, but I feel like it's such like an, a staple piece. like. I could put this with anything, but I think this is so big that I would just rather wear my regular motorcycle jacket or one of my crop jackets. I don't know. I'm really on the fence about this one, to be honest. But the other thing is, I've had it in my closet for a year, and I've never worn it. Close. I've gotten close. Maybe I've worn it once. I don't know. Maybe I'll wear it around the house today. And uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put a, an update somewhere here whether I got rid of it or I kept it. Because I'm just, I'm just not sure. <laughs> so I am possibly getting rid of four items. And I'm keeping 13 jackets, 10 blazers, and 2 vests. So that's 25 items, and I'm getting rid of four. <laughs> Not as good as I hoped, but hopefully by like, once I get through spring, I'll be able to kind of look back at my jackets and, jackets and see what I really like, love, loved, and what I can give to a better home. I'm going to start wearing this right now. So I'm going to put all this stuff back in the closet and then I'm going to show you guys everything I'm getting rid of. So I'm getting rid of 27 items and honestly it doesn't really seem like a lot just because I have so many clothes in each category. I wish that I was able to get 
at least scared of at least 50%. We're not there yet and that's fine. I think I'm also in the mindset of like, if I realize I need something that I got rid of, that I can't go buy another. But I don't need anything because I have so many clothes. I have, I have 10 blazers. You think I need a new blazer? Ugh, it's depressing. And I also, like doing this, I realize I really need to look at like fit a lot. That's the reason I got rid of a lot of stuff. All right, so that's my declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've seen any good declutters lately. I love following new um, YouTubers. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. I love um, those like slow fashion kind of sustainable channels. If they're like into thrifting, those are fun. Just like fat, a lot of fashion channels. Whatever you got, put them in the comments. I'd love some some inspiration. <laughs> But anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will make another one. I probably will anyway, but hey, a thumbs up never hurt anybody, and if you don't want to miss anything from me, make sure to subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.